Everything that I get from people when I help them do upgrades to uh, lithionics batteries and 3000 watt inverters or whatever we're doing, whatever they, whatever they leave behind, I find a home for. So uh, everything that I get, I give to somebody. I find somebody to give it to and help them install it. So they left, the, uh, a couple of people I've helped left these two Victron shunts behind, but of course they did not leave their passwords behind. So now I have to reset the passwords on these Victron shunts so I can give it to somebody. So in order to do that, you have to have what's called the the P P U K number, and that's on a little tag on the end of the shunt. See, here's the shunt. There's a the P P U K number is on a little tag on the end. So you have to have this number in order to reset um, basically back to factory so you can enter in your own pin. Um, and so I'm gonna do that with these two shunts and, and see how it goes. Okay, so uh, what we wanna do is we wanna, uh, we wanna connect the positive. And this is for the shunt power. And then we want to connect the negative. And we can make, make this, you don't have to have this that tight, but you want to, you know, you want a good connection. Okay, so right away you can see, wait, let me pull this. Um, right away you can see the blue light flashing so that means the shunt is working and then I call up my where is my Victron shunt then I call up my Victron connect app and it shows the shunt so then I tap on that And of course, it's not gonna let me in because I don't have the uh, six zero code. I mean, it's no longer set on the default. So what you need to do is hit the three dots on the side. And it says reset pin code. So you hit reset and then it says enter the PUK code. All right, so I'm gonna enter this PUK code and it looks like I have to pay attention to things that are a zero, eight, eight, zero, nine, one, seven, four, C, and I believe that's a zero. And you can say, show the PUK number so you can see it. And then you hit okay. And it says, pin code reset. You have now re been reset back to the original default six zeros. Wonderful, that's exactly what we want. So now I can go in. And then I can enter my six zeros. Say okay. And now it wants me to change the pin code, which I'm just gonna put in uh, six ones. Hit okay, pin code has changed. Okay, so now we're hooked up. Okay, so now I need to do the battery settings. Since All right, and uh, I've learned that the actual um, Battleborn, you can use Battleborn settings. I mean, you can use any lithium battery because um, these are all 
you know, um, I'm going to call them inexpensive, um, you know, uh, import batteries. So you can use the settings, um, you know, they're all basically the same. So I'm just going to, I just um, printed this from Battleborn. Because I've learned that the settings that I did in my last video for the Victron shunt, they they were too low. The charge voltage was at 13.9, and it really needs to be at 14.2. Um, and I put the discharge floor at 10% because what that means is it, it's going to tell you how much time you have remaining when you're monitoring for the battery to get down to 10% or you've used up 90%. I don't like to I don't like to go to zero. I don't like to use any battery, lithium battery for sure, to zero. I like to give myself some margin. So I set the discharge floor to 10%. So I have a last 10% once I've, you know, used it up uh, the way that I, you know, do when I'm monitoring. Then the tail current is 4%. 3 minutes, 1.05, 99%, uh, 0.1 for the current threshold, 3 minutes for time to go, and um, I'm not sure what, so, so, and then once you know that your battery is, has reached 100%, you want to synchronize it, but I don't know where this battery really is, um, it, it probably is at 100%. Uh, yeah, it says it's at 100%. So you can go ahead um, and synchronize it. But if you were charging it, the way you know it's actually at 100% is um, based on your charging. If your charging source has gone down to providing zero current, then that means the battery is not taking anymore, so it's full. It's not taking anymore. It's at 100%, and you can synchronize uh, in the settings. You can go to battery and synchronize. Now, I don't use any um, of the alarms. This person entered a low, um, oh no, this is default. So they have a low state of charge, that's fine. Um, but I don't, I don't uh, do any of the, oh, on the auxiliary input, put it on none because we don't have any auxiliary connections, um, and we're done. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do the second one. So we put the, um, uh, this is a three-eighths of an inch diameter lug, by the way. Okay, whenever you're hooking things up, you want to put the washer on, the lock washer and the bolts or the nut. You don't want any washers, anything in between this metal lug and the metal power plate of the battery or the shunt, whatever you're working on. I'm just gonna tighten this up a little just so I have a good connection. All right, and I wanna hook up the positive first. And then I can hook up my um, negative. And you can see the blue light is flashing. So that means it's working. Okay, and as I said before, you hit the three dots on the side, reset the pin code. Now we want to enter the PUK code, 
In this case, it's Charlie, nine, alpha, eight, two, zero, five, seven, two, five, five, D as in dog. Done, okay. Pin code has been re reset to six zeros, great. So now I'm gonna hit this. And it wants me to pair, okay. Now I should enter the six zeros. Okay. All right. Now, um, they want me to change the pin code, so I'm just going to put six. Whoops. I'm going to put six ones. Pin code was changed. Now, one thing I forgot to tell people is if you hit these three dots, you can go to the product info. Um, and you want to you want to uh, enable instant readout. You want to make sure that's enabled, and you can put a custom name. So in this case, I'm going to oh, it got cut off. So that's okay. Um, so now that took, and we'll go back and we'll do the settings. Um, so this is gonna be for 200 amp hour. Um, so we want 14.2 charge volts, discharge floor, 10%, uh, tail current, should be four. Oops. Okay, tail current four percent. Charge detection three minutes. The uh, expo exponent factor should be one point oh five. Um, charge efficiency 99, current threshold 0.1, time to go 3 minutes, set to 100%, and then um, alarm, um, we can leave that, that's okay, miscellaneous, auxiliary input none, that's what we want, um, so, we're done with that. And this is what happens if you enable um, live data, then you get this snippet of battery information without even having to open the app. So that's good to enable live data as I showed you. Okay, so now we're done. The smart shunt is reset and it's ready for me to uh, install when my friend gets here.